Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad. I'm Molly. Today, we're stepping it up a notch. Excited? This review, this channel got it just a little more classy. Uh, before I reveal what this is, I traded this bottle uh, with a friend of mine that I've made on TikTok, Matt Big Show Fudgeco. I hope I said your last name right. I've only read it. I've never said it out loud until <laughs> just this moment. Um, thank you. Uh, I traded him for Blanton's for this bottle of Jim Beat. No, Basil Head. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Weller Antique 107. Now, this is I want the. I'm, I'm trying to get the entire Weller line. That's oh, something that I really, really want. I only need a 12 year, a single barrel and a CYPB, it's never gonna happen. So, um, you never know, I, anything's possible. Uh, so I have tried Weller Antique 107 before, and I honestly did not have a good experience with it the last time I tried it. But where did you try it? I tried it at Liquor Barn <laughs> in Kentucky, which there's something inherently trashy about saying the words Liquor Barn together. Um, but I tried, it was like $3 for the pour or something, yeah. it was really cheap. But I don't know how long that bottle had been sitting there. Like, there's just a lot of variables about that. So, um, and to be fair, that night we had had a few already. We were like Ubering from liquor store to liquor store trying to find stuff. And uh, I don't really, we had dinner. So like, there was, there was a lot of variables on that. And we both like Weller a lot. Um, and I'm excited to crack open a fresh bottle of Antique 107. Yeah. Enough talking, let's go. Also, I think I think um, if you want to up, I'm opening this and get this ready. I think they come exclusively now with the screw tops on the Antique 107. Mm. I think they went away from this one, so this might be an older bottle. But I wanted it uh, with cork. the with the cork. I like corks better. The very first bottle of Weller I ever had, the cap would not screw back on, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I had to put it in my decanter, and it was a very sad day. But let's get that pop. Woo! I love a fresh pop. <laughs> I've had four fresh cracks today. Yeah. Doing, we're doing pretty good. Is there water in there? I got it. Happy Friday, everybody. Might not be Friday, it's definitely not going to be Friday when you're watching this, but happy Friday. Whoa. Oh. I did not mean to pour that much, but I am going to drink all of it. You like it, but you don't like it. Why do I do that on every video? Like you've um, never poured a bourbon bottle before. You would think I'm an amateur. I love the water. You, you'd be right, I do too. They're gorgeous. So I will say, last time I remember tasting this, I said it was reminiscent of a Band-Aid? Yeah, so not the best tasting notes, <laughs> no. you know? Band-Aid. Let's we'll see how this one goes. It already smells better. It smells like the Weller Foolproof. I'm, you know, we're fresh-ish on that. That was a few days ago we opened that bottle. It almost smells like vanilla and like a berry. It's very vanilla. It's honestly, I was gonna say like berries and cream. Right? That's weird. Yeah. This is not anything what I'm like I remember. I'm wondering no. if they actually didn't give me 107. Like, like for, no, I'm, I'm being sincere. Like they may have grabbed the wrong. I, mean, I didn't see them do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, what I say? Oh, sorry. The antique 107. I, I wondered if they like gave me the wrong thing because this is not at all. It's completely different. What I remember. I mean, to be fair, you know, if you've been drinking a little bit in Kentucky, we're going from store to store. Uh, this is not at all what I remember. I, I, I'm getting very traditional weather notes. Like it just really does remind me a lot of the foolproof. This, I don't know. this real deal. This 107 proof. This it's smells sweet incredible. yet bold. I'm about to find out. About to find out. What, so, uh, before you, I know you, you like to just dive in, I get it. But what, um, other than like berries and cream, what are you getting? I'm getting that like borderline chocolate. Very warm. That's a, Not quite pepper, but warm. That's a great freaking description. It does smell warm, but like not <laughs> spicy. It smells like the way a fire makes you feel. Yeah. Alright, let's go for it. They did wow, whatever, the, oh my god. Oh, that does not taste like a band-aid, that's fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> Matt, I'm gonna need another bottle, now. That is so good. Oh, Better god. <sighs> it's right up there. It's right up there. Good god. It doesn't taste hot, it tastes warm, it tastes vanilla. I've never had a bourbon that, that I'm gonna kind of piggybacking off what you said. A lot of times when you taste a bourbon, it like hits you right here and you're like, God, this one like creeps up to the line and just backs off. It's like, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That is, this is like, 
This is like a perfect bourbon. Yeah. That's really good. That is way sweet. In a good way. What is, and it's almost like, there's almost like a consistency that's like chalky almost. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like there's a, there's, there's texture to it. Yeah. It's very unique. It's nothing like anything I've tasted before. Man. It's just so weird how strong that berries and cream is when you smell it, when you're taking that sip. Oh my God. Right. I mean, it's no secret that this is a good bottle of bourbon. I mean, everyone yeah. typically likes this. I think this is, uh, um, TJ from Bruzel's, like one of his favorite bourbons. So shout out to shout out to Bruzel. This is one of his favorites. What's and the best, like most well loved Weller? Um, are you counting the William LaRue Weller from the BTAC? Because no, that, that would be like the one. That's like bottles. Um, it, it kind of depends on taste profile. For me, I still think the full proof's a little better. Um, but oh, I'm, I, I, I mean, like not by much. I mean, we're talking like. I bet if I blinded them, which actually would be fun to do, mm -hmm. if I blinded them, I, it could go either way for me, to be honest with you. If you this is. Them, you could tell them apart. I don't know. I think this one's. Trying to back to back like that, though, this this does have a very unique berry taste to it. Mm -hmm. Can you look up? I'm curious what they say about the Willer, the Willer, the Weller Antique the 107. Weller. The Weller note. Let's see. But I, I, I I'm I'm with uh, with TJ on this. I mean, this is a, a spectacular bottle of bourbon. I mean, this is just. Like, I, there's no complaints here. It's like the perfect proof, the perfect sweetness, the perfect heat. Uh, this is perfect. Matt, I'm serious. I'm gonna text you. I need another bottle of this immediately. So nose, it says lush, dark fruit. First Berries. fourth from the glass and combined with vanilla, caramel. I don't Healthy get caramel. Dose of seasoned oak. The palette is oh this is interesting this is pretty this is the word we were looking for how full-bodied and oily the bourbon feels rolling around my mouth yeah. cinnamon spice cinnamon. cherry dark berries raw sugar and aged oak I don't get cherry a combination of a rich heavy mouthfeel and cinnamon cinnamon is the heat mm. that we're getting that's yeah. not and it has a finish of cinnamon with sweeter notes of caramel and vanilla to follow caramel undercurrent of cinnamon remains. I get the caramel now that you say that, but I don't think I would have picked that out on my own. No, dark fruit, very much It's healthy. very, it's way more fruit forward to me than, than anything else. And usually I don't pick up on the fruit, I usually think Yeah, you fruit. think I'm insane for picking up fruits, but that is very fruity. But not flavored, like it's, I, I, I think when people watch these reviews, they think that when, they, when someone tasted this, that it tastes like Dr. Pepper cherry, like that no, kind of, no, no. it's not that. It, it is this very like subtle hint of, of it. Yeah. Um, God, that is delicious. I might pour some more after we, after we film this. This is good. You know what it smells like? What? Take another smell now that you, it smells just like the Buffalo Trace Distillery. <laughs> it does smell like right. angel share. Yeah, it, smells it does. just like that now. That's hilarious. Man, that is. Just a friggin' 10 out of 10. Not really, because there's no such thing as a 10 out of 10. Um, but I mean, that is like 9.8 repeating. <laughs> that is delicious. That's really, really solid. So thanks to Matt. Uh, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna need another bottle of that. That's something I'm gonna want to keep uh, keep around. That is, I, I'd like to enjoy this one, get another one, and keep that one sealed for a while because. Um, we live in Florida, and the only place to get Florida, I'm sorry, the only place to get Weller in Florida is through the ABC stores. And the only thing they put on the shelves in the ABC stores Use here that in Florida. Term lightly put on the shelf. Oh, yeah. When I say on the shelf, I mean like behind the register once a week. You have to look. know to look there. They put the special reserve out. So, unless you're in the vault, which luckily we are, um, as of a few weeks ago, you're not getting this in Florida. No. Um, if you're ever around and you see this, it's one of those things where it's like, we saw this in Kentucky at a store and I almost grabbed it. But the reason I didn't grab it was because it was our first day. And I was like, I'm gonna wait and just see if I can find it somewhere else. We saw it for 150 bucks. I don't think that's an outrageous price for this bottle. It's retail, um, isn't it? Like 60, 50, 60, it might, it might not even be that much. But it's just like, especially in Florida, it's just one of those things you're not gonna you're see. Not finding it. So uh, you can spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks, a thousand bucks to get into the ABC vault or you can spend a little extra money on the secondary and grab it, which I don't, I don't, you know, I don't recommend and I don't discourage. It's your choice if you do secondary stuff, but 
Uh, what is the retail? That's 50 bucks. I don't know how true that is. But. That's, well, I think, well, I think that's, I actually, I know for a fact that's right because I know that's what Matt paid for it and because uh, we were talking about it um, when we traded for the Blanton's. But I would trade a bottle of Blanton's for this any day. <laughs> yeah, I like this way better than this, Blanton's. This is better than Blanton's. I mean, Matt, you lost out on this deal, my friend. Um, thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next video. Until then, find a bottle of Antique 107 and enjoy. Cheers.